Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from group 55 In this video, we are going to present our final year project titled COVID-19 Pandemic The Implication on the Small Traders in Seremban Before we begin, let me introduce ourselves first My name is Small Wafi bin Karul Azman And my research partner is Nur Alina binti Muhammad Ali Let's start with the research background. So, COVID-19 has been declared a pandemic by the World Health Organization on 11 March 2020. The pandemic COVID-19 crisis has brought several negative consequences to the economy, politics and society. Since the pandemic begins, the government has been taken various measures such as the movement control order to mitigate its impact. However, many small and large businesses are suffered and this unprecedented coronavirus crisis has caused destruction for many businesses. As reported in the Britain Harian 2020, the majority of small traders are unable to survive more than two months due to the pandemic COVID-19. Thus, this research purpose is to analyze the implication of the COVID-19 on the small traders. Now, we move on to the problem statement. So basically, the implementation of the movement control order has affected most businesses. According to Roadsy 2021, due to multiple MCO, the business owner had to close their business or lay off their employees to reduce their costs. Other than that, as the people stay at home, the behavior of the people has changed where most of the people started to rely on the digital platform to purchase item they need. Because of that, small traders suffered income loss and depend highly on government assistance. Thus, various government assistance was introduced to revitalize and generate the economy and consequently help the business to survive. Next for the research objective, the first one is to examine the customer relationships with small traders income sales. The second one is to examine government assistance with small traders income sales. And the third one is to examine the movement control orders with the small traders income sales. Now, the conceptual framework. So the conceptual framework consists of one independent variable which is the small traders income sales. And the three independent variables, the first independent variables is the customer relationship. The customer relationship is the way the business engage with their customers. The pandemic COVID-19 has changed the behavior of the people where more people prefer to use online platform. The second independent variable is the government assistance. Since the beginning of the pandemic, the government has implemented various initiatives to help business to survive. And the third independent variable is the movement control order as the MCO restricted the non-essential business to be operated. Now, the hypothesis development. So for the first independent variable, which is the customer relationship, the hypothesis would be there is a significant relationship between the customer relationship and the small traders income sales. For the second variables, which is the government assistance, the hypothesis would be there is a significant relationship between the government assistance and the small traders income sales. And for the last independent variable, which is the movement control order, the hypothesis would be there is a significant relationship between the MCO and the small traders income sales. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nor Alina Mithiu Ma'ali. I will be continuing to present about the research methodology. So the first one is research design. The research design that was used in this study was cross-sectional to look at the impacts of COVID-19 on small traders. Cross-sectional is a one-time survey that shows immediately the key elements of the study. This study also implemented the quantitative research method in order to collect all the relevant data involving 270 respondents from small shredders in Suramban. The second one is the unit of analysis. This study Unit of analysis is small shredders in Suramban from 18 years until 65 years old. The third one is the sample. As there is no legitimate number of the small traders in Suramban, this study used a formula to calculate the unknown population sample. And the sample size is 270 respondents among the small traders in Suramban. And the next one is sampling technique. Purposive sampling has been used to conduct the research. It is a non-probability sampling method so the progressive sampling is important when making a research and needing to reach a specific sample. 
it is used by researchers to reach a specific subset of people as all survey participants are chosen because they fit a, a specific profile. In this study, a uh, small children's instrument as a population has stated in the criteria of the research. Thus, uh, this research this research only focus on the small traders instrument. And the next one is data measurement. In the purpose of collecting data, this research questionnaire was the main tool to achieve the research objective of this study. To ensure the respondent fully understand the question, uh, the questionnaire was made both in Bahasa Melayu and English. It is five main scale based on the like good scale of one strongly disagree to into five strongly agree. So for the data collection for part part A is a uh, demographic profile and part B is a uh, small traded income sales and part C is a uh, customer relationship part D is a government assistant and the part E is a movement control order, and the the last one is a data analysis. This research study used a Pearson correlation as a mechanism to determine the significant relationship between the independent variables and dependence variable. So the next one is findings. According to the table demographic, the majority of the respondents are male, which consists of 50.7% of the total respondents, and the rest of them are female. For the second aspect, uh, most of the respondents are between the age of 26 until 35 years old, which is 110 of the total respondents, which is 40.4%. In addition, a total of 228 respondents are Malay, which is 80.8% other than the rest. As for the business size, most of the respondents' business periods are between 1 until 3 years, with a total number of responding which is uh, 46.3 percent and as for the income sales per month the majority of the respondent generated between 1001 until 2500 per month with 41.2 percent for the number of employees most of the respondents which is 89 percent are one until three employees while the remaining is 11 percent as for the last aspect, which is the uh, operation business hour, 69.1% of the respondents' operations hour are the whole week. So there are three main findings that we discovered and we be analyzed by using a Pearson correlation. So the first objective is to examine the customer relationship with small traders income sales and the result is R equal to 0 0.392 and the p-value is 0 0.00 which is below than 0 0.05. Therefore, the H0 is rejected and the H1 is accepted. So there is a significant relationship between the customer relationship with small traders income sales. And the second objective is to examine the government assistance with small traders income sales. And the result is R equal to negative 0 0.009 and the p-value is equal to 0 0.878. Therefore, the h is accepted and the H1 is rejected. There is a negative relationship between the government assistance with small charter income sales. And the last one, the third objective is to examine the movement control order with small charter income sales. And the result is R equal to 0 0.679 and the p-value is 0 0.000 which is below than 0 0.05. So the result is H0 is rejected and the H1 is accepted. So there is a significant relationship between the movement control order with small traders income sales. For the research implication, for the first implication that has been discovered is financial instability towards the small traders. The economic recession has a significant negative impact on all businesses regardless of the size. So a majority of the respondents described that they experienced financial instability during the COVID-19 outbreak. With the restriction of women control order, people need to stay at home and keep a social distance. Hence, small traders get less income due to the decreased number of customers. When the MCO happens repeatedly over a long period in order to control the number of cases, it affects the income sales of small traders. The second implication that has been discovered is transformation to digitalization. Digitalization is a crucial in the advancement of the technology era. According to a study conducted by the Malaysian University Consortium, the use of digital 
digital technology would significantly improve business productivity. Therefore, some of the respondents had changed their business into digitalization to replace the traditional method by using social media to promote, provide e-wallet payment, food delivery platform by Foodpanda and GrabFood. This became an opportunity for the business to be known on the digital platform by the new customer and sustained during the pandemic. The third implication that has been discovered by the study is shortage of workforce. The COVID-19 pandemic has prompted one of the most severe job losses. There is a real risk that the crisis will worsen the poverty and widen the inequality with long-term consequences. There are several reasons for the level shortage such as workers who uh, tested positive for COVID-19 or had a direct interaction with positive COVID-19 patients were quarantined and some employees chose to stay away from the business because they were worried of becoming infected with the COVID-19 and the workers were unable to report to work due to the government's movement control order. This implication is not limited to Malaysia. According to Kudin 2020, a study conducted in the United States and Europe revealed that the COVID-19 outbreak has affected their organization with operation facing shutdown and the possibility of worker termination. For the fourth implication that has been discovered is a limited time of business operation. The small shooters need to change their business operation due to the restriction of movement control order implemented by the government. During the early years of the MCO, only the essential sector was allowed to operate at 60% of workforce capacity. With the limited time to operate the business, the small traders found it hard to gain customer and cause the fall in the business with the declining demand from the customer. For the last implication that has been discovered is supply chain disruption. The situation that disrupts the free movement of products or the manufacturing, sale or distribution of goods is considered a supply chain disruption. So, the businesses have seen a drop in demand as a result of fear and online distancing. And according to study conducted by the Institute of Supply Chain Management, at least 75% of all survey businesses experience a disruption in their supply chain as a result of the pandemic. So, due to the imposition of the MCO, small traders had no access to stock and their incoming stock was disrupted. During the MCO, they couldn't get to cross the state to get supply as the restriction from the government. Hence, the sales margin was decreased by the lack of customer and the increasing prices of the goods followed by the economic recession. Now, I will explain about the limitation of our study. The first one is the weakness of the quantitative study. This is because the quantitative method of research involves collecting data by using a structured questionnaire which means it is a closed-ended question where the options of the answer depends on the researcher. Thus, for the future studies, it is highly recommended that the researcher use a qualitative method such as an interview because it could bring more in-depth in understanding of the participants' perceptions, emotions and also the experience of the topics. The second limitation is a limited model. The model used in this study is quite restrictive since it only included three independent variables and one dependent variable. Because of that, the outcome of the study may not be satisfying since it may be more informative with a more comprehensive model. Therefore, it will be suggested that the future researcher uh, would widen the study by including more variables to be analyzed as it may eventually lead to more informative and satisfying data uh, that will bring a better understanding. The last limitation is the sample. Basically, all the respondents of this study are the small traders at the roadside locations. It means the study lacks respondents from the online businesses perspective. This is a limitation because most online business typically do not have a physical store and they operate their business from home. So the implication of COVID-19 may be different. Therefore, it would be suggested that the future researchers consider including a lot more respondents that do online business as it may provide valuable insight from another perspective of the business. To sum up, the main purpose of the study is to understand the customer relationship, government assistance and the movement control order towards the small traders' income sales. This study has discovered that two independent variables which is customer relationship and the movement control order influence the dependence variables of small traders' income sales. Therefore, the study has contributed to the current knowledge, the literature review and the entrepreneur study. 
the study also has limited some gap in the current research because previously a mass research has been conducted in a western perspective so this study is the final study that was conducted among the developing nations such as Malaysia. Lastly, this study has significant support and contributed to be used for the future study.